in this video, we're going to be talking about diffusion. Now, there are so many different ways to modify your lighting. You can bounce it off of a ceiling, off of a wall, or a bounce like this, or you can shoot your light through diffusion. Now, today we're going to be focusing on different types of diffusion. In this setup, with me right now, I have this bounce, and that's just filling in this side of my face from the key light, and then motivated from the lamps behind me is this backlight, just to give me a little bit of accent on my hair. These two things are staying the same the whole time. We're not touching those. This is what matters to us today. What effect does this have on the image? We're gonna be trying different types of diffusion, and it may surprise you to find out that this one, the humble shower curtain, is like our favorite. <laughs> it looks awesome. There's two things to keep in mind when you're thinking about lighting modifiers. What they're doing to the actual image and how easy they are to set up, how quick they are to set up, the equipment that's needed to pull off that look. Now all we need is a model for our video. And Lynn is, where's Lynn? Uh, she couldn't make it today. Why not? She didn't say. <sighs> you freaking kidding me? Okay. My brother's here, my brother James. Should we try hey, to yeah. get him? James! Hello. Hi. Okay. What are you doing? What, a, what is the camera doing in here? What are you doing in here, James? I'm working. On what? I'm doing real work. Okay, can you come be in our video for a minute, please? Okay, by the way, guys, this is my older brother, James. He has a real job. I was the only one in the family who didn't go to college. This guy is the real deal, but I'm stealing him away from his real job today to model. I have this light, and this is actually a great light. It's from Godox, it's the SL202, and they sent it to us to try out, and it's actually really great. I would definitely compare this to an Aperture 300D, or even an Aperture 300D Mark II. And the lighting is clean, it looks great. I'm gonna shine this right at James. This is why we use diffusion. We don't want images that look like this. This is a classic example of what is bad. The light source right over here is so incredibly small that the, the shadows are super hard. This doesn't work. It doesn't look natural. So when I was first starting out in filmmaking, I thought, oh, I need to buy bigger light sources. That way it'll look more diffused. And so I started buying LED panels thinking that that would make my light softer. <laughs> it doesn't really work that way. I'm gonna turn on this Aperture Nova. Now we have a much softer source. If you look at his face, I don't think this source is large enough for my taste. Windows aren't normally this small and this bright, right? Natural lighting doesn't look like that on somebody's face normally. What we're after is soft, natural lighting. This is a four foot roll of paper, diffusion paper. I'll give you a link in the description. You put it onto the arm of the C-stand, unroll it. Now we've made a very hard source a very soft source. This paper is completely changing this quality of light. The whole thing is illuminated. And so now this is the new light source. It's like he's sitting next to a big open window. This is the Aperture Lantern. I love this thing. The reason why I love this is because it's quick. All you have to do is push down, it locks into place, and then you place it on your light. This isn't as soft as the last light source, but it's so quick to put up. It's very portable and it just attaches to the light. This kind of lighting modifier is great for people on the go who just want one light stand. We actually use this light all the time for corporate interviews when we need to rush into an office space and go. Lately, because of COVID, people want us to have a small crew. We're masked up, we're staying away from people, and a light like this is perfect. Also, when you're moving fast, even though this isn't as soft as that other paper diffusion, it looks great still. 
What this is doing is giving his eyes a beautiful circular eye light. Thank you, James. And it's a distinct look. This looks different than the last diffusion. Not all diffusions are exactly the same. This is gonna give you a different look than something else. Okay, let's try out new diffusion. This is the Aperture Light Dome 2. This is a big soft box from Aperture. And it's not the quickest thing to put together, but it's quicker than other soft boxes. And that's why we like it. It has a Bowens mount. And this sucker is gonna go right onto our light. This really wraps around his face even more. And the light is a little bit more directional. It's off of the background a little bit more, and the light source seems a little bit bigger. This lighting modifier is just big enough, I think, to give us a beautiful natural look. But it's so quick to put together, and it's so easy. And you just have one light stand, it's all together. Now, usually with movies, they're not using soft boxes like this. These lighting modifiers started with photography. This Bowens Mount lighting modifier soft box was inspired by the photography world. But we're loving the way this looks. Look at this, we're gonna do this one next. This is called the space light. This is weird. But look at this. This is from Aperture as well and it gets teeny tiny. And now, we have another soft source. This is pointing right down and it's a soft light on James. We have the stand boomed all the way up and over, way up here to get this kind of look. Now, this kind of light source would be ideal for an interior scene where you're trying to make the light look like it's motivated from practical light sources in the room, maybe ceiling light or a chandelier, some kind of light source above the subject. Okay, here we go. Ah. Now that is a fun look. This top down lighting right above James. That's pretty cool. Seems like he's being lit from a practical source above him, but it's still soft, still pleasing. That's really neat. Dang. Dang. This is a four by eight frame of unbleached muslin. And unbleached muslin is an industry secret. This is a special kind of fabric that gives a beautiful quality of light to the human face. And it's thick. I'm putting it onto a C stand and this will give us a nice, beautiful, soft source for James. If you're looking for a nice, cozy interior feel, I really think unbleached muslin is the way to go. You can't beat this stuff. I, I, I think what it's doing to his face is so beautiful. And the reason why I think it's so cinematic is because this exact material has been used in so many movies. It's, it's, it's natural, it's soft, it's warm, it's comfortable. I'm loving what this is doing. It's wrapping around his face like no other material we've used today. Now, <laughs> there's a side effect here. We're losing a lot of the light. You need bright lights when you're shooting through this stuff because it sucks all that light out. Not a ton of that light is making it through this material because the material is so thick. We're borrowing this kit right now from one of our filmmaker friends. He's actually shot like six feature films He's incredible, and he let us borrow this today. This kit was made by Modern, and if anyone from Modern is watching this, please, we, we love your stuff. Could you please send us some stuff? That's literally why we make these videos, so we can get free stuff in the mail, because it's like Christmas every day. But uh, we love your stuff, Modern. You, you actually know what you're doing, and, and, and Modern's equipment is used on movies, like all the time. Okay, this is pretty much the same thing as before, but it's bleached. This is white muslin. It's not quite as warm, it's very similar though. We're not losing quite as much light, but I like the way this looks. I think it's super clean. This kind of thick diffusion is just fantastic. Looks great. This is a much thinner frame. This is one fourth grid diffusion. And this is great 
when you're outside and you're trying to diffuse the sun or when you just want a little extra diffusion. This is also beautiful. It's wrapping around his face nicely. What we're doing here is the light source is very close to James. So that is attractive, but it's a lot brighter than before. You can see here where it was for the muslin. And I had to adjust the exposure because so much more light is coming through. But this looks nice too. Here they are, two cheap options for diffusion. And I'm actually really excited to use these. We've actually never just gone to the store and used cheap stuff before. So this will be an interesting experiment for us. And who knows, maybe we'll start using these on set. This is a flat bed sheet, just a white bed sheet for a queen mattress. And this is a heavyweight shower liner uh, for your shower. There are so many ways to put diffusion up. What I'm going to do is use extra light stands that we have. This is a lightweight light stand. And I'm going to extend it and attach it to this Cardellini clip. Whoa, shoot, did I break the lens? Man, sorry, good gosh. I, I demand to be taken seriously here. This isn't the quickest thing to put the get together, to put the get, to put the get together, but let's try it out. Oh my word, are you freaking kidding me? Guys, it's not about how expensive the lighting modifier is. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you it's trash? Kicking trash? Kicking the trash. You guys need to clean up that. Good so, gosh. Honestly, this looks like a bed sheet. <sighs> that looks pretty nice. It looks almost professional. This is the cheapest option yet. It's not quite as big as the bed sheet. I think for us, as of right now, before reviewing the footage, the cheapest light source looks the best. What's great about something like this is you can roll it up and put it in a bag and that's it. I think it's incredible that the cheapest option we got Hey is, guys, guys, well, look. I hate to bother you, but um, I gotta go back to work. Peace. Okay, well. Oh, we lost, gosh, what is all this time? We lost our model. Go, okay. just get. Okay, goodbye. Gosh, he's been working out of one of our spare rooms here. And then I said, James, like, really, to earn your keep, just be in one of our videos. We're not charging you rent. Then he runs off like this in the middle of it. Like, you're not grateful for what we're doing here, dude. <laughs> Whatever. There's so much drama at this house. Okay, um, hey, whoa. brother. Uh, hi. I'm gonna be back there working. Um, you guys have fun here. Okay, bye, James. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Um, yeah. I want to hear from you in the comments. First, which diffusion type that we tried today was your favorite? Not just visually, but how long it took to set up. With the kind of filming that you're doing, what kind of lighting modifier works best for you? Also, I want to hear what type of lighting modifiers you guys are using out there in the real world. I mean, in the YouTube comments, there is so much knowledge when people actually share their real life situation. So I wanna hear from you, what types of diffusion are you using, expensive, cheap, to get the kind of look that you want. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe to Epic Light Media, please don't. We already have enough subscribers, but feel free to go to a random YouTube channel and subscribe to them, right? Alex, what do you think? Okay. People keep thinking that I'm joking when I say don't subscribe from the very beginning. Oh, this guy's funny. He's using reverse psychology. It's not freaking reverse psychology. Okay. This is honest. Okay. Don't just not subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed, unsubscribe. We're trying to keep our numbers down. We're growing too fast. We want people to find us organically through word of mouth. That's why we're selling t-shirts and stuff. So someone could see, oh, like, well, oh, what's that t-shirt for? Oh, it's for a channel you're not supposed to subscribe to. That's how we, you know, we do want subscribers, but if we've come up on your newsfeed, just as like a recommended new channel, we don't want you. Sorry. Alex, I'm serious. <sighs> like, okay, we want the quality people that are searching 
right, on YouTube. Maybe, maybe for years they've been watching videos and now they finally find us and it's a special moment. But when we come up on the YouTube algorithm, just as like some random thing, that ruins it. And so we're not after a lot of subscribers, we're after quality subscribers. If we could get our number down like below 10K, 5K, and have them like really care, then that would be good. Um, you know what I mean?